everyone, I'm Iris and I'm with the customer success team here at Badger Maps. Today, we'll be going through every feature of the Android application. If you'd like to see a specific part of the video, go ahead down to the description and click on the links below. These will let you jump directly to the parts that you're most interested in. The Badger Maps app is extremely helpful when you're on the road since it allows you to navigate to all your appointments and create check-ins on the fly. Most of our customers drive 20% less by optimizing their routes with Badger, which usually translates into an increase of 25% in sales. You can download our Android app by searching Badger Maps in the Google Play Store. If you haven't done it yet, you can sign up for a free trial under Create Account on the login screen here. You can get up to 14 days to test out the app for free. Once you've created your account in Badger, you can log into the app. Enter your email address and the password you created when you signed up. If you've forgotten your password, you can easily reset it through this link here. If for some reason you don't receive an email with instructions to reset your password, you can contact our support team here and they can set it for you. Since we're a mapping app, the first thing we'll do is ask your permission to access your location. Go ahead and select Grant Permission. In order to activate many features, like calendar or notifications, we'll need you to allow permission on these screens that pop up. On the main screen, you'll see the map with all of your pins in red and a bunch of options around it. We'll go over all of these options in detail. In the upper left corner, you'll find the Locate Me button. This button shows your current location on the map. So if you've been moving around and want to go back to your location, just tap here. On the top right corner, you'll see the Layers button, which allows you to turn on satellite imagery and traffic. By selecting Satellite Imagery, you'll get an aerial view of your territory, while Traffic shows you the streets in different colors, from green to dark red, reflecting the current status of the traffic. At the top of the screen, you'll see the option to switch from the map view to a list of your accounts in that specific area of the map with their distance from your location. You can also search for the account you're looking for here if you don't see it at first glance on this list. When the account you're looking for pops up, you'll be able to see its details. Below Map Layers, you'll find the Lasso tool, which allows you to select multiple accounts at once by drawing a line around them. By lassoing accounts, you'll be able to mass update them, create a new route, or delete them. We'll see all these options in more detail later. On the main menu, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the sections Map, Accounts, Route, Calendar, and Settings. Since Map just takes you back to the Map view, let's go ahead and start with Accounts. After all your accounts have been imported through the web app, you'll see them in alphabetical order under the Accounts list over here. You can also search to bring up the accounts you want by typing in their name right at the top. By tapping on any of them, you'll access the account details, where you can see all the data you've added to that account. Go to Edit to make any necessary changes on your account details. Right next to the Details section, on the upper menu, you can also see the exact address of that account under Location to get a street view of the area. Then, you'll have options to take any relevant notes about that customer and see the history of the check-ins you've made for that specific account. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see the options Add To, Check In, Center on Map, and Navigate. Add To allows you to add that account to your current route or to save an appointment with that customer on your calendar. Check In is where you'll log your interactions with your accounts. Create a new check in every time you visit an account or have any other type of contact with it, like a phone call or email, to keep track of your activity with all your customers and prospects. You'll also be able to create check-ins while you're in route mode. We'll cover this in more detail later on. Center on Map is pretty straightforward. It shows you the exact location of any account on the map. Finally, by selecting Navigate, you'll open your default navigation system where you'll be able to get turn-by-turn -turn directions on that account's location. You can also add new accounts easily. Just tap on this plus sign over here and enter all the relevant details about your account. The only required fields are the name and address. Another way of adding an account is to tap and hold on a specific point on the map. You'll see that a dialog box pops up with the option to create a new account 
using its geographical coordinates. Now, let's see how you can get a custom view of your territory using Visualize. Before creating a route, it's useful to see on the map only the accounts you're most interested in. Badger gives you the ability to colorize and filter your accounts so that you can focus on your priorities at all times and even spot great opportunities around you. So, we'll go ahead and open the Visualize screen up here. These are all of the fields that you can colorize and filter by, and they are totally customizable by you. If you have additional fields besides the basics, like name and address, you can include them in your spreadsheet and they'll show up here. You can also create new fields manually through the web app. Click here to learn how to do it. Use Colorize to see your pins in different colors based on the fields associated with the account details. You'll be able to see the bigger picture of your accounts at a glance without going through lines of data. For example, Let's say you've created a filter named Priority with the values High, Medium, and Low. By toggling this field on, you'll see your pins in three different colors depending on the value that's assigned to them. You'll know where your best opportunities are and you can target the right accounts at the right time. You can also toggle the legend on and off by tapping here. Use Filter to sort and narrow down accounts you want to see on your map. Note that when you have the Colorize option active for a field, you'll see this colorful wheel near it under Filters. You can activate any filter and toggle off the values that you're not interested in. Let's say you only want to visualize high priority accounts. You'd toggle off those with medium and low to stop seeing them on the map. This allows you to focus on the locations of your key accounts. If you want to narrow down your results more, you can have multiple filters active at the same time. Note that when filters are active, you'll see this message down here that says filters active. If you ever notice that not all of your accounts are showing on the map, make sure to check if this is active and if so, go ahead and reset your filters here. The filters days since last check-in and days until follow-up are created in your account by default. The first one is a numeric field that keeps track of your check-ins and colorizes your accounts in different shades, from yellow to dark red, depending on when you last visited each account. This way, you can see that if some of your pins come up in dark red, it's time for a follow-up. Days until follow-up is a filter that helps you plan and keep track of your follow-ups. Enter the date you'd like to follow up with each customer under account details and you'll be able to see all the pins on the map in different colors depending on how far in time your follow-up dates are. You'll see in light yellow those accounts that you need to follow up with soon, and in a darker shade of red, those that require a follow-up on a later date. If you need to assign new values to any filter, you can do it account by account under Account Details, or you can create a new value for multiple accounts using the Lasso tool. This tool allows you to mass update a large number of accounts so that you can easily edit values. Now that you have your territory under control, let's find some new leads around you with the Places tool. Badger gives you the ability to search for new leads around you using keywords. In general, it's hard to find good new leads, especially ones that might fit in your existing schedule. However, Badger makes that whole process much, much easier. Let's say you want to search for dentists in your area. You can do that by tapping on Places and creating a new place. Let's go ahead and create a new search for dentists. I'll go ahead and type that in here and tap OK. It'll automatically toggle that search on. Back on the map, you'll see these little blue bubbles around. These are the results of the new place I just created. You can see a little arrow here that shows that there are more options available. Let's look at their details. Here, you can see some information about this lead, like its hours of operation, a label saying whether it's open or not, its phone number, and website. Tap on Create Account to save this lead as an account. By doing this, you'll be able to make check-ins, write notes, and add it to your route at any time. This will ensure that you can keep track of this pin and won't have to search for it again using the Places tool. 
you'll also see the options Add to, Center on Map, and Navigate. If you tap on Add to, it'll give you the option to add the place to your current route or to add it to your calendar. Go to Center on Map to see the exact location of that lead on your map. Navigate opens your default navigation system to get turn-by-turn -turn directions to that point. Another pro tip is that if you want to get more results in a specific area, you can zoom in on that area, redo the search by tapping on this button, and you'll see that more blue bubbles pop up. The same thing happens when you move along the map to a different place. You just need to redo the search every time. Now let's move on to routes. Here we'll see how to create optimized routes and navigate to all your appointments. As you know, this is one of the biggest problems Badger solves. It makes you save time on the road so that you can focus on selling. After filtering your accounts, you'll see on the map only those accounts you're most interested in. Now, it's time to create an optimized route to visit them. The easiest way to add these pins to your route is by using the lasso tool. Draw a line around the accounts you want to visit, tap on Create Route, and the app will automatically create the best route to go from one point to the other. Let's go ahead and add start and end locations. Please note that you can also add default start and end locations under settings, so you don't have to enter them every time. Right now, I'm going to enter work and home. After doing this, we'll need to tap on optimize and we'll see the route on the map is now much better. You'll also notice how the route stats change down here every time you add new points and optimize. We can add new points to the route in different ways. For example, you can tap on any pin on the map and select Add to Route with this button. You can also add leads that you find with the Places tool to your route. Remember to always optimize after adding new points to get the best route. There's also an easy way of creating routes and adding stops to your current route with route popovers and quick stops. Go to the Add Location button over here to select multiple specific accounts at once to add to your route. Tap on Done when you're ready, and then optimize to get the best route to drive to those locations. You can also add temporary stops that you don't want to add to your accounts list. For example, coffee shops, gas stations, or lunch spots, by going to this tab and entering the name and address here. Now, let's say one of these is a fixed appointment that we need to be at at a certain time. We can tap on the name of the appointment and set a specific time. Let's set a start time of 1 p.m. and we'll say the length is 30 minutes. We can drag the appointment up or down in the schedule so that we end up on time or early based on the rest of the route. It's also possible to change the default length of your meetings under settings. We can now save the route for a specific date and give it a name. Now let's say we want to add this route to our calendar so that we have the appointments there for our records. Let's tap the Add to Calendar button at the bottom right. If you haven't yet, you'll be prompted to set up your calendars. The first screen is asking which calendars you want to show inside a Badger. Generally, people choose just one or two, including their work calendar. We'll choose the general calendar here and tap Save in the upper right corner. On the next screen, we're choosing which calendar you want to add appointments to by default. Since we just added the one calendar, we'll choose that same one. Once that's done, we'll pick the time and date that we want to add the route to and push the route to that date. And we're good to go. Your route is now on your calendar. There's an option here to delete the route in case you no longer need it. Doing it here would only delete your current route. To delete a saved route, go to the next tab, tap on edit, and select the route or routes that you want to delete. Note that you can also receive your route stats via email by selecting this option over here. Finally, let's see how the route mode works. Route mode is one of our user's favorite features. It keeps you focused on your route, allowing you to easily navigate and create check-ins on the fly. To activate route mode, just tap the Go button at the bottom of the route. You'll see everything else go away and you start with the first appointment on your route. You can easily create a check-in here and activate turn-by-turn -turn directions by tapping on the Navigate button here. 
If you want to see details about that customer, tap on its name over here. To end the route mode, just tap on the big red button at the bottom. Now let's take a look at my team. For users on the business plan and above, Badger offers a feature called My Team. It allows you to link different accounts reflecting a team hierarchy. Being on a team in Badger allows you and your coworkers to stay connected and aligned at all times. On the phone app, you can check your teammates' territories, create routes for them, modify any detail on their accounts, and create and edit appointments on their calendars. Under Settings, select View Map As and tap on the name of the team member whose data you need to see. Depending on your team's specific settings, you'll have access to all or some of the data of your team members. As a manager, you can get the manager view inside of a team. This means you'll be granted access to the territory and routes of the rest of the team members. You'll be able to create or edit routes or account information of any team member and you'll also have access to everyone's activity reports on the web app. This gives you the ability to get all the team members on the same page and plan their days for them. Our web app offers even more options for teams, so go ahead and check this video where you'll see every benefit of having a team setting in Badger. Let's now see how you can plan your days more efficiently with the in-app calendar. The calendar works very similarly to the built-in calendar on your phone. You can easily add appointments with reminders, alerts, and more. However, Badger does a little bit more with location. Inside Badger, we require any appointments that you make to have an address associated with it. We can then plot your calendar out on the map so that you can see any additional locations that you might be able to fit in. So here, I push my route to the calendar and I can see all these have locations ready to map. Under settings, you'll find many options that help you make your usage of Badger more efficient. Here, you can select your active viewable calendars. These are the calendars that actually display inside of the Badger calendar. You can also change your default calendar. This is where Badger will add appointments to. Right below that, we can change whether or not the Add To button creates appointments in your calendar or route by default. You may also select Give Me the Option Each Time if you'd rather choose every time. If you're primarily creating and optimizing routes, then you might want the button to add to your route by default. If you're mostly working in your calendar, you can choose to add to your calendar by default. Next, we have Default Appointment Length. This affects both your calendar and route items. Default start and end locations are just like they sound. If you know that you're constantly going to start and end from work or home, you can set these here. Finally, here's our referral program, which rewards you for bringing more people into the Badger community. It's very simple. If you spread the love, you get paid. Send this link to anyone that might be interested in us and if they purchase Badger, we'll send you a $50 Amazon e-gift card. The person you refer will also receive $50 in credit toward Badger. So everybody wins! If you need to contact our support team, you can reach out to us right from the app. Tap on the contact support section here and you'll automatically create an email to our support team. Finally, select sync the app to keep the same information on your web app and on your phone. And finally, log out if you need to down here. We're super excited to have you here in the Badger community. Soon, you'll be driving less and selling more. Get started today. If you want to learn more about our application, click here to watch our video walkthroughs for the iPhone and the web applications. Click here to view our knowledge base, which has videos of every different aspect of the app. Thank you so much for watching and happy selling!